Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. And in this video today I am going to be talking about dental and orthodontic treatment here in Germany and I actually can't believe I haven't talked about this because I've been living in Germany for over 10 years now and I go to the dentist twice a year. If you add that up that is a lot of visits to the dentist and I have got so much to say about this topic. One of the many perks of living in Germany is the fantastic dental and orthodontic treatment here. I have not had any experience with orthodontic treatment in Germany up until recently actually. My eight-year-old daughter Amelia has been getting orthodontic treatment here to correct an overbite and I have been beyond impressed with just the whole process. So I will be talking about my experience with orthodontic care in Germany but first I want to talk about my experience with just regular dental care in Germany. And so just to give you an idea of how good we actually have it here in Germany, all of the basic dental care in Germany is covered by public health insurance and I've talked about this in many videos. Germany has one of the best public health systems in Europe if not in the world. So the basic dental care here in Germany covered by insurance involves two checkups a year so every six months you can go to your dentist free of charge and they will thoroughly check your teeth to see if you have any issues. You will have your teeth cleaned, deeply cleaned, basic fillings that is all covered by insurance you don't have to pay anything for that. But if if you want a more extensive treatment, if you need surgery or something like that or more of a cosmetic procedure then you do need to pay out of pocket for that or you have to have private health insurance or private dental health insurance. So all of the basic dental needs are covered by insurance here in Germany which I think is fantastic. I think one of the reasons I'm so excited about this is because this kind of dental care is not available in New Zealand and going to the dentist in New Zealand just for a regular routine checkup. Just checking to see if everything's okay and maybe a little bit of a cleaning can set you back as much as $90, 90 New Zealand dollars. Actually children in New Zealand up to the age of 18 are entitled to free basic dental care but adults have to pay. So in New Zealand the cost of actually having to go to the dentist to get a regular checkup and a bit of a clean is expensive but then if you have any fillings, if you need any fillings or further treatment then you are going to be paying on top of that which you know it can get extremely expensive going to the dentist in New Zealand. This results in many people just neglecting their dental hygiene and it's like a vicious cycle because they get to a point where they need to go to the dentist they can't afford it and then they you know develop gum disease and they're too embarrassed to go to the dentist. Gum disease can lead to many other illnesses and it can be fatal and it's just not a good situation. I think many people here in Germany take this incredible dental care that we are entitled to for granted because they're just used to it when in fact this is actually a luxury that so many people in other countries do not have. I actually remember the first time I went to the dentist here in Germany, this was many years ago now, I was actually really nervous. For one, I didn't speak German when I first came to Germany and two, I have this really weird genetic kind of like a defect. So basically the teeth next to my two front teeth, they just never fell out when I was a child and I had an x-ray taken which probably cost a lot of money because everything, everything extra in New Zealand costs a lot um, and I found out that there was actually no adult teeth underneath. There are five kids in my family, four out of five Five of us have this and my auntie my dad's sister also has this so it runs in my family and anyway I had to have a lot of orthodontic treatment to correct this problem I had operations I had to have those two teeth pulled out and the next adult teeth moved over to replace them and it was you know it cost my parents a lot of money to sort this out I had to have braces and thank goodness my parents were able to afford to get us all braces otherwise I probably would be walking around with like two gaps in the side of my teeth or like little tiny baby teeth or something like that. One of the reasons I was nervous about going to the dentist in Germany is because of this weird genetic problem that I have. I do not have a normal set of teeth. So the sides of my, like the, the teeth next to my two front 
teeth have been built up. I've got these crowns and I've had teeth pulled out and rearranged to look kind of half normal. And whenever I've been to the dentist, like a new dentist in New Zealand or in Australia, I lived in Melbourne for a couple of years, I've always received a really sort of puzzled reaction about my teeth and like the order of my teeth. I was thinking, how am I going to explain this all to a German dentist in my broken German when I couldn't even explain it properly to an English speaking dentist? It took my German dentist about five seconds to work out what was going on with my teeth. It was such a relief to me. I heard my dentist sort of like counting the teeth and saying, hmm, okay, okay, okay. And so I remember this German dentist saying to me, in perfect English by the way, so I see that you have this genetic abnormality and it's been operated on, you have two crowns either side, this tooth has been removed and all of this sort of medical German and I just couldn't believe it. He totally got what was going on and it was such a relief. I was just like, Whoa, thank goodness I don't even have to explain what's going on because it took him like five seconds to work it all out. I have been to three different dentists since living in Germany. Each one of these dentists has worked out exactly what is going on with my teeth within about five seconds. And so obviously the dental training in Germany is phenomenal and maybe this is just something basic that dentists learn in Germany, but I know that the dentists I've been to in New Zealand and Australia have not been able to figure this out and I've had to explain and then they're like, ah, okay, I can see now. They've all looked super confused, but in Germany that hasn't been the case. Anyway, our family dentist, where we've been going for quite a few years now, she is amazing. I love her and I actually love going to the dentist, which is crazy, I know, who loves going to the dentist? But I really enjoy going because she's so much fun and she chats to me and she loves the fact that I'm from New Zealand because her brother is actually living in Australia and she finds it cool that I'm from New Zealand which is close to Australia but anyway she loves to chat to me and I always try my best to speak as much German as possible but then I stumble across a few medical words and sometimes will switch over to English. But anyway, this particular dentist who my family goes to twice a year, she's just so lovely and she just always goes above and beyond. I feel like we just get really wonderful treatment and I'm sure she's like this to all of her patients. I was at the dentist a couple of weeks ago actually and I was talking to her about possibly getting a crown replaced on this side and I actually got this crown like 20 years ago or something like that and it's getting a little bit discolored it's not as bright as the rest of my teeth and I really want to get some whitening treatments maybe some professional whitening and it's just impossible for a crown to whiten like, to get professional whitening if you've got a crown you need to get your crown replaced because that's not going to whiten and so anyway I was talking to the dentist about it and she had a look and she said to me I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I do not recommend you getting your crown replaced at the moment because it's still in really great condition, it's, it has held really really well and the colour difference is very very subtle and she said any sort of treatment removing an old crown that is going to interfere with your natural tooth and that could cause problems in the future and she said as long as this crown is still you know holding up okay I would recommend you holding off a little bit. She said to me of course if you want to get this replaced then I will do it but I recommend you holding off a little bit and I found that really interesting because I would have to pay for this out of pocket I do not have dental insurance I am looking at maybe getting it but this would have cost me quite a bit to get this crown replaced and she was telling me no you shouldn't do it right now I recommend you waiting a little bit which I thought was really great I just felt really well looked after like she cared more about my well-being than actually making money and I took her advice and I I'm going to wait a little bit before I get this crown replaced. Anyway, I personally have just had a very positive experience with dental care here in Germany and I also want to talk a little bit about orthodontic care because as I mentioned, Amelia, my eight-year-old, she is having her overbite corrected and so the lovely dentist who we go to, our family dentist, her husband is an orthodontist which is really convenient and his practice is in the same building as her practice and so anyway, we have been referred to this man, our dentist's husband, who is also absolutely lovely. 
why wouldn't he be you know his wife is just incredible I was actually really nervous about bringing Amelia to the orthodontist because when I think of orthodontist I think of ching 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 it is so expensive to get orthodontic treatment in New Zealand to get braces in New Zealand I actually just recently googled this and it costs around 9,000 euros to get braces of course it's different depending on the type of treatment you get anyway one of the first questions I asked the orthodontist is how much will it cost for Amelia to get braces and he said to me that it will be covered by public health insurance in Germany and I was just absolutely just beyond thrilled to hear that. He explained to me that here in Germany up to the age of 18 almost all orthodontic treatment is covered by public health insurance which that is incredible. Actually in Amelia's case insurance was going to be covering 90% of her orthodontic treatment. The 10% we had to pay for but we would later get that back. It would be reimbursed once her treatment was complete and I think this had something to do with the fact that Amelia is only eight which is very young to be getting orthodontic treatment she actually lost her teeth really early and her adult teeth came through very early so she does have some baby teeth but most of her teeth are her adult teeth but I later found out that we did not have to pay the 10% up front because it's something to do with corona and family support in Germany and because of the stress the financial stress on families with corona they were flagging that whole having to pay 10% and so everything is going to be covered by public health insurance in Germany which is absolutely phenomenal. So we did find out that Amelia at this stage is not going to have to get braces like the fixed braces all she will need is a retainer which the orthodontist says he believes that this will be able to correct her overbite and a few other little problems that she has and she only has to wear this at night time every single night for I'm not sure how long I think it might be six months or something like that to correct the overbite and if this doesn't correct it then she will have to get braces which will be covered by insurance but anyway she had all sorts of molds taken and she had I think it was like four appointments at the orthodontist and she finally has her retainer which she's been wearing at night she happily wears it on top of that Amelia has been referred to a speech therapist which is kind of like a speech therapist in Germany they're called logopedy and it is to train her bite because her tongue pushes against her teeth which is not helping with the overbite and so she's had 10 sessions also covered by public health insurance we haven't had to pay a cent our orthodontist has referred us to this logopedi and Amelia's been doing these mouth exercises and tongue exercises to help train her tongue to not push her teeth forward and so that was part of the requirements of Amelia's treatment so she's had the 10 sessions which I feel like have really helped and she has her retainer and we're just going to see how it goes. Overall it's been a very positive experience and I am so so grateful to be living in Germany and to have access to this wonderful dental and orthodontic treatment and I just thought it was worth making a video talking about this today because I especially the orthodontic treatment which would cost thousands and thousands of euros in New Zealand was covered 100% covered by public health insurance. It feels almost like I'm cheating or something. Do I really not have to pay anything for my daughter's orthodontic treatment? It feels a little bit too good to be true but apparently it's not. So I'm, I'm just very grateful for this. So anyway guys I thought it was worth sharing my experience with dental and orthodontic treatment here in Germany. I would love to hear your experience in the comment section below. If you are a foreigner living in Germany, an expat, what has been your experience with German dental care and orthodontic care? I would be really interested to hear how does it compare to your country. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I know a lot of you who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed so if you would consider subscribing that would mean the world to me. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!